Greetings, YouTube. Today, uh, Moon Pie has decided to join us, though I have no idea how long she'll be here. Um, I follow a woman on YouTube named Angela Collier, C-O-L-L-I-E-R, and she is a physicist. Actually, technically, she is Dr. Angela Collier, though she does not use the term a doctor often because it confuses a lot of people who think that a person with that name is a medical doctor, but she is a doctor nonetheless. Um, studying dark matter, if I believe I remember correctly. And she does really great videos about physics. Uh, some of them are, you know, long form, you know, like 45, 50 minutes long, talking about this particular topics that, that are of interest to her at that moment in time. Um, and she also did one which was difficult to listen to because uh, it was about the sexism that can be found in uh, physics research and how it, it negatively impacts um women in the field and who, women who just walk away from it because they know they just cannot tolerate, they just cannot live with this and they know it's holding their career back and there's not a damn thing they can do about it because the tenured professors who are hitting on, you know, grad students are going to get away with it forever because they're tenured, you know, they're part of the old boys club. It, it was, it was heart wrenching to listen to that. But she did one recently about fluoride, hence the, the title of this video. And I never really thought much about fluoride. I know that it was beneficial to our dental health. Um, and I know that there were a whole lot of people uh, upset about it. But I always put them into the same category as I do, like anti-vaxxers or people that think, you know, that aliens have been probing them in the butt, things like that. Just nonsense, absolute, the flat earther people, folks. And I say this as someone who's a theist, okay? Um, and I never gone into any depth of this because I didn't see any reason to. It, these people are absurd. I know that fluoride is beneficial to your teeth. That's all I cared about. But she talks about the fact that, you know, during our regular processes of uh, consumption and digest and everything, that the process of our chewing and digesting things demineralizes our teeth over time. Fluoride helps us to remineralize our teeth. So it's putting back the things that we're losing, um, which is really darn handy. And that's one of the reasons that it's in all our toothpaste or most toothpaste, and it's in a lot of water supplies because it can benefit people long-term, particularly kids, and it's cheap and it's safe and there you know, aren't any major issues with it. Unless, of course, you are a flat earther who has a thing for you know uh, fluoride. And I didn't, again, she begins, to, she begins to explain that since these people don't know what they're talking about, they're talking from a position of nonsense, but there's folks out there who are willing to, to ah, sorry, blowing me. Uh, there are people out there who are willing to prey on them because of their ignorance. People who will sell them, you know, particular tooth products that don't have fluoride in them. Or even dentists that will have that have fluoride-free practices that that makes no sense to me. Um, and she talks about the, the the fluoride in in our water supplies because initially it was put into our water supplies because people oversold it. They really tried to convince folks that it was going to do some huge gain when it came to uh, preventing cavities and such. In reality, it prevents probably ten percent. But ten percent is a lot. That's that's billions of cavities that people are not suffering, particularly children, because of something that, again, is totally harmless. Now, people are going to hop on that and say, well, you can have under certain circumstances enough concentration of fluoride. Yes. And, and if you have enough fluoride, concentrate enough, you drink enough water that has fluoride in it, you will die of, of water poisoning long before you have any adverse effects from the fluoride, because it is, in fact, possible to drink so much water you die. Um, but maybe the folks that are, you know, the flat earth fluoride folks don't really want to think about that fact. You know, it's like red dye number two was taken off the market and it was shown to be, you know, dangerous, you know, ca cancer causing in rats. And the reality is, is that you would have to eat, a human would have to eat like a ton of red dye number two to have the same kind of adverse effect on their health. Now, I don't mean a, a ton of food with red dye number in it, number two in it, or number three, whatever it was. No, no, look, 
an actual ton of the die itself. People don't understand percentages and concentrations and statistics well. I'm no expert, but I have a good layman's understanding of them. For example, if somebody says that you know you have an 80% chance of uh, something, that doesn't mean yet that you have an 80% chance of getting that happening. You have an 80% chance of an increased event. Well, what was your original percentage? Did you have a 1% chance of catching something or suffering some adverse effect? Well, if you have an 80% chance above that, that means it's less than 2%. I mean, every time you suffer COVID, and I've had it three times, I do not recommend it, your chances of suffering long COVID increases by 200%. So you'd think, well, everybody who has COVID obviously must be long-termers. No, it all depends what your initial risk percentage was to start with. I got unlucky, and the first time I got it, I became a long, a long hauler. But if your first, again, if your percentage chance of the first time you ever had it was 2%, 200% is, okay, you well, you're now risking it, what, 8%? Okay. Um, that's a risk, but I don't think it's going to, you know, break the bank on that one. It's pretty safe. Unfortunately, not everyone is. Uh, but so, yeah, the idea that fluoride is dangerous at some quantity is true. But it is such a ginormous quantity of liquid to drink that you would die from the liquid before you had any adverse effects from fluoride. And I didn't really know this. But again, I trust the experts. And sensible dentists have been telling us for a long time that fluoride is good for our teeth. So I don't argue. I don't think I should argue. It's not my place. I cannot speak from a position of authority to say it's bad. And I, after having listened to Angela Collier, I can tell you I definitely believe it's good, even more than I did begin with. Um, so I recommend her channel. Again, Angela Chalk Collier. Um, she again talks about physics. Dark, it's particularly she just, she talks about dark matter. Um, dark matter is not a theory; it is a series of observations. That's just, she said that one video and made me smile. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I don't get it. Um, maybe they're worried about their precious bodily fluids. And if anybody gets that line, I will be really thrilled. 